United, two will be six, wind, zero one zero eight, where we run right to the pickup. The pickup, one right, United, two will be six. Hello my friends and welcome to beautiful Sydney, Australia for today's flight from Sydney, Australia to Queenstown, New Zealand, An even more beautiful place to land today, really exciting flight today my friends, uh, we'll be flying with Jetstar Airlines today, we have a uh, flight time about 3 hours, uh, Phoenix HE2200 aircraft uh, and we also uh, connect to Watsim network today. We have an ATC online with us, so uh, that's really, really nice for our departure. Uh, I hope you're really good, my friends. Uh, now, uh, let me say hello to you. Let's see who we are with us today. Hello, Pedro Papiano Marquez. Welcome on board. And also, Pekni Slovak. Evening, Captain. Good evening, Pekni Slovak. Nice to have you with me this flight. So, it's uh, early morning here in Sydney, Australia. We have an... Uh, also, we have a scenery for this uh, airport. Also, as well, we have scenery for beautiful Queenstown. And let me show you today's uh, today's map, today's uh, flight plan. We're going to depart here from the east coast of uh, Australia, beautiful Sydney, Australia, uh, Kingsford Smith Airport. We're going to take off from runway 16 right. This is our departure. We're going to climb out. Uh, connect to this waypoint and fly across over this sea straight over to New Zealand today and uh, the Queenstown if you uh, don't know about it my friends uh, this town is a middle of mountains so it's a little bit tricky landing short runway but man it's so beautiful with this lake around also with the uh, mountains surrounding so should be should be some beautiful scenery views today my friends Mickey Tricky, hello Mickey Tricky, welcome on board. Also, Pedro Papier, the approach of Christmas will be very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I have done it before. I have seen that one and it's really, really nice, man. All right, so much for our uh, flight plan. And also really beautiful airport. I mean, this airport is quite stunning. All the scenery around uh, this uh, Sydney airport is uh, really beautiful. As well as this livery was just a completely silver livery. Nice, nice. Okay. Transport Legend. Hello, Brock Aviation. Hello, Transport Legend. Welcome aboard. Nice to have you here with me today. Uh, how long is today's flight time? Uh, we have a flight time of three hours today, man. All right. Let's jump into aircraft. Start the preparation. As always, starting up with the external power on. And also, we need some sound. There we go. And battery one and battery two goes on. First supply, ground control lights on. <laughs> Transport silver looks like steel and it's fancy. <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice. Steel color, yeah man. Uh strobe lights, nav logo lights, APU master switch goes on. Red lights, seatbelt sign, no smoking light, and emergency exit light is on. Cargo heat to off department, that's it.
Okay, flight plan is imported. Uh, let's load up the aircraft. We have 100, 165 passengers today. Let's start the loading. Let's go with GSX. Oh, my friend, Talking Ben fan number one. Uh, hello, hello, Talking Ben. Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, nice to have you with us today. Uh, trust my pleasure. I'm flying Italian Airways A3, A220 from Rome, Milan, and Naples. Okay, you're flying that in real life. And Luxa Flight. Hello, Luxa Flight. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Nice to have you with us. Okay, let's continue with the preparation. <laughs> Aloha, <laughs> like the flight. Aloha, my friend. Uh, Ball uh, JTHN. Hello, hello, Ball. Welcome to the stream. Get in it request. Okay, flight number for this flight today is uh, Juliet Sierra. Juliet Sierra Tango 780. Cost index is uh, 33. And we had a Cruise level of three five zero. Uh, Pedro, I love this metallic grey. <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice. Quite nice. I press the win request. Ah, strange. The gear was up the whole time. <laughs> that was quite strange. Okay, we have the wind data. Uh, Ball, how long is the flight today? We have a flight time of three hours today. Mm, uh, Trust but legend, sorry, bro, I meant A320 in Microsoft Flight Simulator Simulator. My spelling is horrific. No worries, man, no worries. 
Okay, that's it. Transport legend, I'm five minutes from Naples touchdown near Ren. Okay, have a great landing, my friend. Set the frequency if the one to four decimal four. Okay, let's connect with uh, ATC. Let's see first which stand are we staying at. Uh, we are at stand 5 6. Sydney clearance, uh, good morning, uh, just our 780 at stand 56, uh, request clearance to Queenstown. Just our 780, approach good, uh, you're clear to Queenstown via optic flight plane route, normally 16 right, so free departure, climb via the 5000, score 1247, departures of this frequency. Uh, Kitty Queenstown, we are uh, up to the parch uh, runway 16 right. Uh, climb by the seat, uh, 5000 feet, uh, squawk 1247. Uh, be ready for the parch on this frequency and uh, just our 780. Just our 780, just confirm cleared optic flight planned route. Uh, Sydney tree departure. Optic climb route via Sydney tree uh, departure. Just our 780. Just our 780. Okay. Uh, flying to 5,000 feet. Uh, let's clear. We have a squawk of 1247. All right. Uh, QNH is 102. Two, and let's uh, prepare our flight plan. Uh, one six right is our departure. There we go.
Now our, our arrival is going to arrive at uh, runway uh, 2, 3. Let's check the arrival approach. Uh, RMP Z Zulu runway two three. Okay. There we go. And stop at that approach. Now what is the star? Upda four Bravo. There we go. And the transition transition is at cost. Check our flight plan. Perfect approach looks beautiful my friends. There we go Let's see how we are with the boarding uh, passengers are boarded and a few cargo is boarded. We still waiting on the fuel uh, As we are fueling up the aircraft Just below opinions, next Max of Flexible Flight, I should be running a PMDG 737 800 Eastside Prague, EasyJet Phoenix, Flyboy RT20 Reykjavik to Love or Frontier, Boston to Atlanta. I would go with Reykjavik, London. Oh, Cliff for landing, evening Captain and crew hello clear for landing didn't see you before i was busy just setting up the aircraft uh transport ledger phoenix or fly by wire go with phoenix man i really really love this aircraft now it's so amazing okay it takes a little while to load up the fuel Now local time it's really early in the morning here in Sydney so not many flights going out from here today.
Uh, talking Ben, Brock, I'm just saying that the restart GPU thing didn't work, but I don't know. I was talking about not restarting GPU. It was not what I was talking about. What you have to do is uh, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, then you have to download NVIDIA drivers for your GPU. That's what you need to do. Since you told me that you haven't uh, updated your drivers for quite a while, you didn't even know what I was talking about. Uh, and since Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's updating. I mean, they are pushing out small, small updates each time. I think you have issue with your GPU drivers, man. How did you update your GPU then? It takes quite a while. We are planned fuel of 12 tons. We have uh, loaded up uh, almost 8 tons of fuel. So it takes a little while. That is very important, guys. If you if you are flying on Microsoft, Microsoft Flight Simulator, as of you have seen, each time you start up, may, they are pushing out very small updates. Almost every day you get a new update. It's not those sim updates, or large updates, but it's just small, tiny. You have a little bit of download, just a couple of seconds. And uh, then it means that I have changed something in the simulator. So also if the NVIDIA graphic drivers, if they have released some new driver, you always have to update to be to the, so you have the, always the latest the driver for your uh, NVIDIA graphics card. That's very important, guys. Now it takes very long time. That's a little bit strange. Uh, talking man, I searched on Google and they said settings, then search update on Windows. No, no, you are wrong about it. You are not to do. You know what? Google NVIDIA graphic drivers update. Do you have an NVIDIA graphics card to start with? Do you know which graphics card you have talking about? That's very important to know. Oh Pedro, sorry I didn't see it, bro. This paint design is very similar to Jet 2. Oh yeah, you are correct. Very, very close design. Okay, almost there. Only two tons left of you to, to load in, and we're gonna start up the APU afterwards. Oh, oh, my dear friend Paul Major, boom! Hello, all. Hello, Paul Major. How are you this evening, Paul?
Oh, good. Nice to hear, man. Nice to hear. Okay, finally aircraft is loaded. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are preparing to close the main cabin door, please remain in your allocated seat. That is the seat that is printed on your boarding pass for the duration of the flight. If you have any questions, please refer to a crew member. For those of you who have collected the flyable pack during boarding, we ask that face masks and wipes, whether used or unused, are not left in the seat pocket or remain on the aircraft. If you have downloaded the COVID-19 app, please be assured that it will still work during the flight with the Bluetooth is turned on. We thank you for respecting each other and the crew to ensure a safe and comfortable flight. We also ask that you report any unacceptable behaviour. Press it maybe a little bit early. Uh, talking Ben, I looked up, it was Nvidia, but didn't know before my dad wasn't home, so I couldn't ask. Okay, okay. Okay, APU is up and running. Uh, let's insert the weights. Okay, 59.3. And 31.8. Uh, block fuel of 12.0 tons of fuel. Uh, Talkman got to go now, got a shower. All right, man. Thank you for stopping by. And there we go. Performance. Uh, departure is runway 16 right uh, and dry. Let's sync up the load sheet final and the weather. And uh, let's calculate. Davikovi speeds uh, are 159, 159 and 160. And uh, flaps is 1, slash down 0 0.1, 68 degrees temperature, and that is correct. Alright, guys. We are all set. Let's go with external power off. And let's ask for push and start. Sydney, uh, just our 780 is uh, ready for push and start. Just our 780 by 5-6, push approved. Uh, push approved, uh, just our 780. Let's prepare for pushback and departure.
Okay, we're going all to go Internal information socket our current changes. Expect instrument approach and independent visual approach when visual when we want to expect an arrival then departures. Independent parallel departures in progress, wind 130 degrees, 15 knots. Cloud Q1800 scattered 3200, broken 3200. Temperature 22 to an H1023, speaking of Ostra. Okay, starting up engine number two. Cabin crew, arm doors. Okay, let's start no, engine number one. Your tray table is stowed away, your armrest is lowered, and your window shade is open. The seatbelt sign above you will be illuminated whenever you must have your seatbelt Please set parking brakes. Unlocking gear. showing you the path to follow to these exits. If we need to leave the aircraft quickly, taking your car trunk is connected. By slow you down. Removed. So please leave everything behind. If a mask like this appears above you, is clear. pull it down firmly to start a supply of oxygen. Quickly put it over your mouth and nose and breathe normally. Keep the mask in place by fitting and tightening the strap and then help others around you. There is a life jacket located in the pouch under your seat. If it is required, remove the life jacket from the pouch. Okay, engines are up and running. Ignition to normal. Ground spoilers are armed. And then pull on the loose strap Auto brakes set to max. Only inflate your life jacket as you leave the aircraft by pulling down on the red tags. AP bleed off, AP master switch off, taxi lights on, landing lights to opposition, runway turn lights on. There are emergency escape and flotation devices. Setting flaps one. Crew and any signs that you see on board. Smoking is not permitted any time, any 
wear on board the aircraft, including in the bathrooms. It's our pleasure to have you on board with us today, and we hope you have an enjoyable flight. Thanks for listening. Okay, let's ask for clearance. Uh, we are ready for taxi. Uh, Sydney approach, just a 780 is ready for taxi. Just a 780, are you looking for an intersection departure or full length? Uh, we need full length, thank you. Uh, Jetstar 780. Jetstar 780, roger. Taxi, Golf, Alpha, Alpha 1, holding point, runway 16 right. Uh, taxi, Golf, Alpha, Hulk, short Alpha 1, uh, runway 16 right, Jetstar 780. Okay, let's go. Oh, I missed the golf. Okay. Ah, uh, we have a long way to taxi, guys. <laughs> you were supposed to turn here. Ooh. Alpha is over there. I was watching at the wrong. I was not paying attention how far we have gone on the taxi way golf. Here we go. We are on Alpha now. <laughs> almost Pedro, yeah, almost. 
Now I have this uh, Navigraph map on my iPad in front of me. Uh, but it's not updating. I mean, it's slight delay. So it showed like <laughs> it felt like I wasn't uh, come that far. Approach very good morning, Voss City 803 on the center of final 200 zero, zero, uh, for 16 right. Voss City 803 Sydney Approach, good day. You're cleared the rivet for the re arrival runway 16 right. When ready to send our student 9000 QNH 1023, you can expect the ILS approach, send the independent visual once visual. Squawk 4062 if not already. Copy down to 9,000, squawking 4062, expect the ILS runway 16 right by the river 3 arrival, uh, ILS approach, IBA 1 visual, velocity 803. Velocity 803. Sydney approach, uh, just a 780 at the holding point Alpha 1, ready for departure. Just a 780, assigned heading uh, one three zero degrees, runway one six right, clear for takeoff. Flight heading one three zero degrees, uh, runway one six right, clear for takeoff, uh, just at seven eight zero. Sometimes he doesn't want to work. Why are you doing this? Okay, there we go. Did he said one six? I mean, he must have meant one six zero. Okay, my friends, everything is set up. Let's uh, start our departure.
Okay, you up. Just a 780 passing uh, 1500 feet. Just a 780 identified. Climb flight level 280. Resume my navigation direct off this flight time route. Uh, flight 280. Uh, climb flight level 280. Resume all navigation. Uh, flight direct optic. Uh, just a 780. Velocity 803. Traction is available if you'd like it. Crossy 803, Roger 10, left heading 0203, vectors for the ILS, approximately 55 nautical miles to run. 
Jet Star 7820, sadly no further ATC is uh, available. There will be on route traffic New Zealand 85 X ray Papa presently on verified level 340. Uh, you want to Unicom 122, stay in wait, stay flight today. Uh, monitor Unicorn 122 decimal 8, just a 780. Thank you for service. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, let's bring out the map. It per signs can go off. Beautiful, beautiful weather for flying today. And that's we're gonna climb to flight level 350. And that's it. He mentioned something about we had an aircraft, maybe at flight level 340. Uh, nothing close to us. Uh, let's enjoy the beautiful views of the Tasman Sea. Also, my friends, on April the 20th, uh, it's a Saturday, hopefully, uh, I will be participating in the long haul event, the Vatsim event. Uh, it's across the pond. Now, I have signed up for that. It's still, it's like you, you have to have go through a lottery. There are so many people, so many pilots that want to be on that event. So, not everybody will get, uh, get their place. So, hopefully, I will. I think I'm going to receive the information about next week if I got the spot for that. So hopefully we're going to do a long haul uh, across the pond, which is I think it was uh, westbound. We're going to fly from Europe over to uh, North America. So we're going to be streaming whole day on uh, Saturday, April, April, April 20th. 
hopefully, as I said. Pedro, very nice. Yeah, as I said, not everybody gets the spot. Hopefully we get that. No room here in here tonight. That's odd. Uh, talk man, what airline and plane you gonna fly there, man? I don't know yet, man. Don't know. First of all, we have to see if we get the spot. Uh, then, if I get the spot, uh, there will be uh, some. Uh, you get like a, a slot time where you have to like uh, find which air airports you're gonna fly between. So. Uh, it's a process man so I cannot answer that right now we will see we will see what happens it's not gonna be a 320 that's for sure <laughs> it's gonna be one of the more bigger aircrafts maybe 787 Boeing or maybe a 330 but no I think I'm leaning on to the 787 <laughs> Talking about Mavish 380 came out by then. Yeah, who doesn't? But I don't think it's gonna happen. Maybe, but just maybe. Boeing 777? That would be something. But hey, don't know anything yet. Okay, let's see, we have flight level 260. We have a little bit of um, headwind coming from the slide to the right. So we are right now flying at ground speed is four, four, 446 knots. Talking about British Airways 777, Heathrow to Miami. Uh, let me check which. I'm gonna just read out the kids. I'm not sure that the Miami is the, the viable option. Okay, so I'm going to read out which airports are departing airports. We have uh, we have Keflavik International Airport in Reykjavik. There is Cologne Bonn Airport in Cologne. London Heathrow is uh, present. 
Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, Dublin Airport, Oslo Gardermoen Airport, and also there is Mohammed the Fifth Airport, it's which is in Casablanca, Vienna Airport, Geneva, Istanbul, and Saint Petersburg. This is the airports you are able to choose. Depart and arriving airports are Montreal, Toronto Pearson, Boston Logan Airport, Washington Dulles International Airport, John F. Kennedy International, Chicago O'Hare, and we have some down in South America as well, which is Fortaleza Recife, El Dorado, which was in Bogota, Luis Munoz, that is in Puerto Rico, and also Princess Juliana uh, International airport so we will see what we're gonna pick what we, if we get the spot i'm thinking of trying to stay away those really big airports like jfk and chicago o'hare because you know there are going to be so many aircrafts there and uh, trying to arrive there uh, with all the scenery, I mean, it's gonna be very heavy on the performance. <laughs> Four major Heathrow to Prince uh, Princess Juliana. That's that's uh, that's something. Yeah, that could be mega flight. Uh, is there any flights between Heathrow and Princess Juliana in real life? Do you know that? They only fly KLM and Air France there, okay. Princess Juliana is very nice. Maybe we should do a KLM flight from Amsterdam Schiphol to Princess Juliana. Make it like real. KLM 777 as I said we will see if we get the aircraft uh, Boeing 777 before that that would be really nice that would be amazing to do that but as I said next week I'm gonna get a notification if I have received a spot for that event and when I receive a spot uh, then we have Okay, we have our destination, Princess Juliana. It will be Princess Juliana, guys. Um, Pedro, did you say Fortaleza and Recife? Yes, I did. I did, Pedro. There are also destinations. Those are in Brazil, right? Yeah, we'll get my barbecue blown over again. <laughs> uh, talk about gonna uh, spawn in and plane spot from the beach there. Yeah. We need, I need to set up, man, I always forget, I'm so forgetful. Uh, I need to set up that uh, uh, replay, replay feature so we can see our landings. Man, imagine landing 777 in Princess Juliana. I'm definitely gonna mess that approach up.
in the water <laughs> or you land on the beach. <laughs> Okay, we reach our uh, top of climb, so we are cruising at flight level 350 now. Uh, Pedro Amsterdam to Princess Gi Giuliana is also very nice, mainly with 777 KLM. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be maybe Heathrow or uh, Amsterdam for that one.
Uh, back to Slovak, will you ever fly from Bratislava again? Yeah, for sure. Maybe someday again. <laughs> so, so many cities and airports to visit though. <laughs> did you like that flight from Bratislava? We did, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we did a flight from Bratislava to Zagreb and back to Bratislava again. So basically we visited Bratislava airport two times. better just the blue of the sky and the sea relaxing us yeah it's relaxing me as well i hope i don't fall asleep so you need to chat with me guys and do you also have the easter holiday coming up Flight uh, 3214, hello flight, uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to the stream. Uh, are we cruising right now? Yes, we are cruising at flight level 350 right now. Uh, just uh, departed a short while ago from uh, Sydney, heading for a beautiful Queenstown in New Zealand. Is it your first time you're visiting the channel? Flight 3214. <laughs> Never seen you here before. Thank you for telling me, Flight. Oh, no problem. My pleasure, man. Well, first time? Oh, welcome, welcome. Nice to have you here, my friend. Hope you're enjoying the views. just subscribed oh thank you very much flight thank you so much for your uh, support man i appreciate it a lot welcome on board welcome to bronco aviation i hope you enjoy your stay here with us we stream uh, we fly every wednesday and sunday <laughs> Thank you for the nice welcome. Yeah, it's how we do things here. We are nice. Where are you from, uh, flight? Morocco. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful Morocco. If you haven't seen my channel, uh, I have flown there. I did the flight. I have uh, 
been to Casablanca, I landed there once. I also departed from Casablanca during an, uh, we had a VATSIM event. Uh, we do long haul flight from Casablanca in Morocco down to Johannesburg, South Africa. Flight time about, I mean, I used to stream for close to 10 hours. Beautiful Africa. <laughs> cool, yeah, man, yeah, man. Really cool. It was really cool, man. Also guys, if you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to hit the like button. It always helps the channel. Much appreciated. Flight, I just like, thank you. Thank you once again, Flight. You are most, most uh, supportive. Thank you very much. Also, is there a cockpit view? Of course, of course. What would the flight simulator be without the cockpit view? Here we go. Here's the cockpit, man. We are flying A320-200 aircraft. Uh, I don't know if you know anything about Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, this is one of the best aircrafts uh, present in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Flying with the Jetstar livery today. Uh, is Jetstar good? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. Uh, it's it's an Australian airline, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I have never. I'm I'm all the way up north in northern Europe in Sweden, so I have never been to Australia. Never flown with Jetstar, so I don't I don't know. I never really heard about it. No, because they are mainly focused on Australia and New Zealand, uh, so they are I think only a domestic airline. No, wait, 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 wait. Now I'm, now I'm wrong. I think they fly to Japan as well. Since we are very far from that part of the world, so we, we don't know that much about them. But I think they are quite big in Australia. Well, not as big as Qantas because I think they are the biggest airline in Australia. Transport Legion never realized how big Australia actually is. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see. I have my flight plan here. We can take a look at how big Australia is. Now, this is it's very, very big Australia. I mean, what can it be? Maybe one third of the size of Africa and almost as big as whole Europe, if not even bigger. Now, if you include uh, the Scandinavian countries, you could almost uh, fit all of the Europe inside uh, Australia. It's, it's crazy big.
as big as the Northern Africa, yeah? You could fit uh, Australia, maybe it would take this size. Yeah, it's quite amazing. Now, uh, this is our flight plan. I've explained earlier, we're gonna uh, descend, we're gonna go down to Queenstown. Um, I actually never heard of it before I started to flying on Microsoft Flight Simulator and heard about Queenstown as uh, one of the most beautiful airports in the world. It's, uh, it's located, it's so stunning location. There is a lake here and these all are the mountains around the Queenstown. So the approach is a little bit tricky. It's a short runway. We're gonna land at runway two, three. So we're gonna, uh, this is our approach, if you can see it right here. Uh, we're gonna go over the mountains right here and go the little bit of a circle around here. And here you just fly between mountains just to align with the runway. A really, really stunning approach, guys. Flight, we will see how beautiful it is while landing. Of course, that's why we fly there. Now, the weather reports uh, uh, is saying that it's a little bit cloudy over at Queenstown. So hopefully it's not too clouded, so we can actually see how beautiful it looks. We have live weather. The timing is not quite the real time right now. I have just moved forward a couple of hours. Uh, it's a very early morning now in this part of the world. Uh, flight, I also love the view of the ocean. Uh, I flew twice to Morocco because I'm in the USA though, and it's really cool to go on an airplane. Okay, so you live in USA. Uh, good day, Captain and crew. Froom7, our dear friend. Welcome, Froom7. Nice to have you with us. And also, Kimchi. Hello, Kimchi. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for your subscription. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. just got back from the gym uh, kimchi hi i donate you do yeah thank you thank you kimchi <laughs> thank you for uh subscribing and joining us man is working out hard there from seven way to go way to go I'm going for that beach body. <laughs> go, just go ahead, man. I'm impressed, really impressed. Mm, kimchi, I'm from Israel. Oh, I think you're the first one uh, that's ever been with us from Israel, as well as flight. You're the first one from Morocco on this channel. So nice to learn all of the people, all of you guys from all around the world. Uh, flight, when will we start the descent? Well, we still have, let me see. Maybe close to two hours uh, until we start the descent. One and a half, between one and a half and two hours, something like that, man. Oh, 
for all of you who don't know, I'm from Sweden, but I'm actually, I'm not born in Sweden, I'm born in Serbia, I moved here when I was very young. <laughs> from seven. Is it a smooth flight so far or did I miss something typically Bronco? We had a little bit of hiccup on taxi. I, I almost uh, I taxi on the wrong taxiway for once. I I should have turned a left on the golf. Uh, I passed it and turned on the next taxiway, which was hotel. But we remedied it pretty fast, and I was so close just to miss the next exit to taxiway Alpha as well. So we did a very sharp turn. That was minor hiccups. Yeah. Uh, kimchi, I usually play uh, on Ibeo. Okay, okay. So that that's another client for uh, live ATC. Never really check up Ibeo, and I'm not really sure what's the difference between this that and Watsim. <laughs> so normal business as usual. Yeah, you do every day Bronco Aviation stream. Flight. I used to have Microsoft Flight Simulator on my Xbox, but I don't have it anymore. Okay, so you get tired of it. Uh, Animation Maker 3004. Uh, hello, hello Animation Maker. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Bronco Aviation. How are you, man? Uh, Animation Maker, thank you, I'm good. Oh, nice to hear, nice to hear. May I ask where you're from, Animation Maker? Is it your first time with us also as well? Uh, kimchi, I, I, I would say is more for beginners since you don't need exam to join there, but if you want to rank up as ATC be, to be, for example, a radar controller, you would need to do very hard exams. Okay. Uh, kimchi, but the handbook is very, very good, even better than Batsim. So you mean like handbook if you want to play controller on Iveo? Animation Maker 2004, I just subbed and liked. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for your support, man. Welcome to Bronco Aviation. Hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, as I say to everybody, we are live streaming every Wednesday and every Sunday. Mostly. <laughs> so sometimes we need to change the days. Uh, but that's our regular live streaming days. Uh, Pratyush, hello Pratyush, welcome man. What's up boss, how are you doing my friend? I'm doing very good, thank you. Uh, we are close to weekend for our... I don't know how it works the rest of the world. Uh, here in Sweden, now we have Easter uh, holiday coming up this weekend. So uh, I'm working on it tomorrow, then I'll be free for four days, which I really, really lo I'm looking forward to that. Mm, flight, is this the most subscribers you got in one stream? Uh, don't know, how did I, many did I get? Three, there are three people who subscribe on the stream. Uh, no, I think the most subscribers I got in one stream, it's maybe 12. No, no, now I was lying. I was lying. Way back when I started streaming, I mean, it was maybe my third or fourth flight. Hey, I don't even know how it happened. I mean, I had like over 70 views, 70 people who was uh, at the same time with me on that flight. It was my just maybe third. And on that, uh, that stream, I got like 15, 15, 16, maybe something like that, subscribers. So, who knows how it works. <laughs> uh, Animation Maker, how long until landing? We still have maybe one and a half hour, two, uh, two hours, something like that. Uh, Pedro, Aveo is much more popular here in Brazil than Batsim. It is? Okay. How, uh, how come? Uh, Kimchi, it's the more uh, Wikipedia for aviation. Uh, there are all the things you need. Okay. 
Well, I started. I have never, never tried. I mean, I'm just on Watsim since it's it's the biggest one, and I'm flying uh, all over the world. We are never at the same place, so I want to have the most most uh, complete ATC because they, they cover so much. So. Sometimes, like now, we don't have any live ATC. It's hard to get live ATC every time. So, I always, every, where, when I'm looking up a flight, I always want to have like an event. So, we do have ATC, but you don't always have that. Pratchers, very nice. I don't have any days off. Not even weekend, man. Don't say you're working seven days a week. Uh, flight uh, wow that's a lot yeah that was one and only time that time i don't understand how that happened i do not even know how i got so many views so many people who watched at the same time i mean 60 70 people at the same time i never had that since animation make i love how you respond to everyone you are so caring oh thank you thank you as I say, I, I want everybody to feel welcome. Uh, everybody, I respect everybody and I want everybody to respect each other wherever you've come from or whatever. And for me, I love chatting with you guys. That, that's that's the whole thing uh, why I do this. If I didn't love to chat with people, I wouldn't be doing this. And the only reason I'm doing this because of you are with me, guys. That That's the thing. And uh, yeah, I just love what I do. Oh, this is my hobby <laughs> two times a week so always nice to uh, to learn a new people and friendly people we also have a discord server so if you feel like you want to do, join the discord server we have lots of discussions there feel free to do that the link is down in the subscription of the stream uh, flight also when we start the center about one and a half hour i think uh, kimchi, yes, every time Brazil is crowded with tons of people. Okay, on Iveo. Maybe we're gonna fly in Brazil and I have to check that out. British, no. <laughs> Weekends, I do. Okay. <laughs> you got me scared, man. I mean, seven days a week, uh, it's tough, man. So, glad you have at least uh, weekends off. Uh, flight, yeah, you're very kind. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much for your kind words, man. I appreciate it very much. Kimchi, yes, politics sucks. Aviation is therapy, in my opinion. Exactly, man. That's my opinion. I also saying we never discuss politics. We never discuss uh, no politics, no religion, uh, nothing that people. I mean, for me, yeah, we are just not discussing that because. People have different opinions about everything. People have different religions, and it's amazing that they have. We need to have that, uh, and I welcome that. But I don't want to discuss it. So, like, uh, I I just want a friendly environment for everybody here. <laughs> say yes. Be respectful, or Bronco will throw you out of the airplane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, flight, I have this current will join you. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, man. You are most welcome. Also, animation maker will join you with Discord. You are also very warm welcome to our community. Mm, animation, what's our airspeed right now? I don't know if you can see the overlay bar at the top. Uh, you can see the speed over there. Uh, now we have speed, ground speed is. 446 knots and Pratchett Bronco Aviation is one of uh, the best out there in my opinion what a humble gentleman man <laughs> I, I I don't know what to say your kind words is really heartwarming thank you so much uh, and you have to know I appreciate all of you guys always always happy to have you with me here mgy how are you man hey mgy welcome to the stream how are you i'm good by the way i'm very good a little bit tired today always wednesdays uh, lots of lots of stuff to do at work and uh, i a little bit stressed to come home and start streaming don't have that much time so 
But anyway, always relaxing and nice to be doing this. Mm, MGY Wamp is like, oh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, flight, I'm gonna refresh and see how much likes. Okay, do that. <laughs> Kimchi. <laughs> What's an astronaut's favorite part on the computer? The space bar. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. Good one, man. Really good one. <laughs> really good one, man. Uh, anyway, should this man is a we is a winner. Thank you. <laughs> Flight 15 likes. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> that was really good one man excellent yeah excellent uh Pratish, hey broker i have never asked you what's your favorite delivery out there hmm let me think. I, th I mean, there are so many beautiful libraries. Uh, there is like, I'm like, I love KLM. I love the blue colors of KLM library. Uh, I also love. Uh, uh, there is also very similar to KLM. I think it's uh, wait. Let me see. Viet Vietnam Airlines. Check that one out. It's also really beautiful library. Uh, let me think. That's the that's, those two are the first thing that comes into my mind. Qantas is also beautiful. I mean, there are so many Air New Zealand, Air New Zealand. That black and white livery, mm, so nice. Animation maker, do we have live ATC or no? Uh, no, not at this uh, right now. We are not on live ATC. We are connected to what Batsim network. But there is no ATC connected here. Uh, kimchi, uh, Aina A380 Pokemon livery. I don't think I have seen that one. I have seen the, is it the whale livery? That's one is really nice too. Uh, kimchi, uh, sorry, it's 787. Okay, I'm not sure I have seen it. I cannot remember. I have seen it, man. Uh, animation Mac, also, I have another question for you. How many flights have you flown on and what planes have you flown on? You mean like in a real life? Is that what you already in the simulator? Uh, Pratish, I love the Etihad livery and the New Air India. Also very nice, also very beautiful. That's that's why it's, it's very hard just to choose one because there are so many beautiful liveries. Yeah, real life animation maker. Oh, that's a tough one. I mean. I have fl flown maybe 50 times in my life. I couldn't remember all the flights. <laughs> um, uh, planes, which planes have you flown on? Well, I have flown 737. I have flown Airbus A320. I have flown on uh, uh, 777. Uh, I flew 777 over to United States. And I've been on Air Canada, I've been on Finnair, uh, Scandinavian Airlines, Air Serbia, uh, Norwegian Air I've flown with, I have flown with, uh, which one, Del, no, Continental Airlines, but they are not, they, they, were, they, the name was Continental at the time, but they are not, not there anymore. I mean, 
Are there any more? Uh, there are plenty more, I just cannot remember all, guys. Sorry. Mm, Pratush, I think that has nice liver and royal Jordanian. As well, really beautiful liveries. Uh, flight, uh, wow, 50 is a lot. How it's like in the 777? I don't remember, man. I know I flew it. I was, uh, it was many, many years ago, but it was nice. I mean, at that time, I wasn't that much into aviation, didn't notice that much which aircraft, but I know it was, I remember it was Boeing 777. Very big, very big aircraft. Uh, but uh, I cannot remember, it was many years ago, as I said. Kimchi, take a look at that 747 ANA livery. I will do that, I will do that after the stream. Huh? Animation Maker only flown three times. The ATR 72, 787 and the 787 again. Wow, that 787 is a really nice aircraft to be flying. Uh, flight, is it loud? You mean the 777? <laughs> I wish I could remember, man. As I said, it was so many years ago. It was so many years ago. Mm, Bratis, yeah, I have also been on 727, 37, 47. Oh, man. You have flown everything there is to fly. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, man, you have flown on every aircraft there is, maybe. I have been lucky enough to travel a lot, even Mitsubishi. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I'm aviation nerd too. <laughs> yeah, that's very cool, man. Animation. Uh, 12 people watching now. Oh. Hello to all of 12 of you guys. Welcome to the Bronco Aviation. Talking man, I've only been on 737, 330, 320, sorry, uh, 787 CRJ and ATR, well, quite a few aircrafts. Now, when you mention it, ATR 72 has also been, I've been also on that aircraft, uh, it was a domestic flight here in Sweden. Man, you are keeping me busy, guys. I almost forget that we are flying. How's everything looking? Company message. Do we have any delay? Let's head into MCDU. No ADC required. Okay. Back to flight plan. So we are, our ex expected arrival is one hour and 35 minutes, guys. Uh, talk, man, what you been on Bronco? Well, you just missed that. We were talking about what I have been flown. I'm, uh, uh, I have flown triple seven. I've flown with the uh, A320, I've flown with 737, I've flown with A3, I think it was A330 with Finnair, I flew with them to United States. And at the one time I flew with Air Canada, I've flown with Continental Airlines, I've flown with, uh, yeah, uh, ATR as well, I have flown with, yeah, can't remember more which, uh, it was so long time ago. Now, late, late, 
latest I have been only traveling in Europe and you always travel with the smaller aircrafts like 737 or A320s. Uh, animation maker, what engines does the HE20 have? This one we have, it's uh, IIA engines on this one. Betni uh, Store, what's to talk about? Well, we are talking about which air, uh, which aircraft we have flown on in real life. Uh, Flight, can we see the wing engine view a little more forward? You mean like this? MGY, do you have the checklist with you when you're flying? Uh, I don't have checklist when I'm flying with the A320s because uh, I have been flying them so much now. So, I, we, well, it happens that I forgot something. It, it, now and then I forgot to uh, make a, turn off the switch or something. But usually uh, I do not using any checklist when I'm flying A320s. Uh, but when I'm flying Boeing 737, Still haven't done so many flights with that aircraft. Maybe I'm uh, maybe 15, 20 in total, and it's completely different aircraft compared to H20 Airbus. So I'm using checklist when I'm flying in 737. Uh, Miss Patrullen, good evening. Lovely flight to New Zealand tonight. They say I would love to visit that country. <laughs> Doesn't we all want to visit? Uh, welcome aboard, Miss Patrulla. Nice to have you this evening. Yeah, it's really amazing country, New Zealand. And also, uh, I don't know if you have seen any flights to Queenstown. Uh, you will see this is some amazing approach with the beautiful, beautiful location of the airport. He's too smart for checklist. No, I'm too lazy for checklist. Uh, animation maker, I'm a beginner at planes and stuff and I don't know much so I have a question. What does trim do? The trim, uh, it pitches up or pitches down your nose. So uh, it's correct. So so how much input you're going to do with, with your stick. It uh, Now there's a, in this one, A320, which is flyby, this is flyby wire system in the Airbus A320. It's done automatically. In 737, you have to set uh, your trim manually. So, easy, just to explain it easily, it helps you to, to, pe to keep the aircraft somewhat like in normal pitch, uh, so it doesn't pitch too much up or pitch too much down. Is Queenstown a big city? I thought it would be more fun to fly to like Auckland. <laughs> and now there you are mistaken. There you are mistaken. Uh, Queenstown is uh, like the name suggests. It's a town. It's uh, it's not big city. Auckland is a big city, uh, but Auckland is flat. You know, it's the city and it's the airport. While it's still beautiful, it looks beautiful in Auckland as well. I have been there too, uh, flying there, but. Uh, when we approach, I mean, this, the town of Queenstown is situated down by a lake with surrounding mountains around, which makes a beautiful scenery. And it's a little bit tricky to land. There. It's a short runway and you have to navigate between mountains to get down uh, to the airport. Uh, it sounds like it's kind of like Austria to land over there. Yeah, um, pretty similar. Could be similar to maybe to Innsbruck in Austria. Uh, but um, 
Mm, I still think Queenstown is on another level with the lake just beside and yeah, you will see in about one hour and a half. Uh, Animation Maker, uh, have you heard of the Speedbird Flight 5390? It was so scary, I watched a video about it and the pilot was getting tormented with 400 miles per hour wind. Nope, I haven't heard about it, man. What caused the window to fall off? Serious? When was that? Did he like fly in the inside a storm or something? Uh, Cliff Lang, a long time ago, the guy that was sucked through the windshield. Ah, <gasps> oh, you mean the pilot? Uh, now when you are saying now I know what you're talking about. Uh, Miss Petrolian, are you flying with the local time right now? So it's the same time in the game as it's in real life because it's morning right now in New Zealand. Uh, no, I have uh, I have dialed the, the time a couple of hours forward. Otherwise, uh, we would take off complete dark in Sydney, and I didn't want to do that when we took off from Sydney. I I want it to be a daylight so we can see the beautiful views of the city. So um, it's not real time, but it's close. Uh, maybe dial the one or two hours forward. Mm, I applied because the window frame was weak and installed incorrectly. What aircraft was that? Cliff landing, yeah, the pilot was hauled down by crew. Okay. It was 1919 and they were flying the windshield. And they were flying, the windshield fell off and the pilot was sucked out to the flight tents were trying to hold him and the co-pilot landed it. <laughs> Boeing. <laughs> the back one 11, I think, okay. Do you know how many horsepower an airplane engine have? It got to be a lot. No idea, man. No idea. Hey, MGW, what do you think about the famous 737 Max? You know what? That's one thing that makes me angry. When a company like Boeing, we have been talking about it, and everything that's happened with the 737 Max and all of the loss of life because of some company, uh, wants to earn more money than they already do and cut corners and uh, yeah that makes me angry when, when profit is more important than human lives or safety so Uh, Cliffland depends the engine and what uh, and what plane. Yeah, I think those sitting on a 787, uh, those General Electric engines, must be most one of the most powerful engines there are. I mean, uh, that that big of aircraft uh, flying with two engines. Wow. Also the one on triple seven. I mean. <laughs> Animation. <laughs> And make it. This is so entertaining. Everyone in, in the chat and the video is so far. I could stay on for hours and listen to the chat. I'm glad you enjoy your stay, man. I really do. So happy to hear that. <laughs> Did you see the the wheel falling down on triple seven? <laughs> yeah, another Boeing accident. Uh, flight Airbus is better in safety, but Boeing is still very iconic. I I agree with you. Uh, that's the truth. Uh, 
uh, but it's 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 a shame what they have done to the Boeing company I mean I know I have seen some documentary the people who work there uh, many of them have left and ha has uh, some stories about how the company is run and um, it's very it's it's shame because it's such as you said it's such an iconic company and it was so good the Boeing planes were so good for so many years Miss Patrillon typically they range from around 115,000 and 180,000 horsepower per engine according to chat GPT okay damn that's a lot yeah That's a lot of horsepower. MGR Bo uh, Boeing likes risks. Yeah, as I said, they are cutting corners and that doesn't work in the aviation industry. The yeah, flight, the Boeing are in a tight spot right now. <laughs> that old one, Miss Patron. If it's Boeing, ain't going. <laughs> but you, you switched it around. Yeah. Uh, flight, yeah, when a 787 take off, it pushes you back a lot. I would love to experience that. Miss Patrona, Airbus is the one who profits right now from Boeing's downfall. Maybe Boeing will go under and Airbus will be the only large airplane manufacturer left. Uh, yeah, you are correct. Uh, Airbus uh, is at the top now. But I, st I think we need we need Boeing to survive. We need competition. It, it wouldn't be beneficiary to anybody if, if Boeing went under and there would be like only one major air aircraft manufacturer. It's always held with the math, with the competition, so they don't just need to get their shit together. So I hope they survive because it's such an iconic company. So many people work for Boeing, and it it's certainly not easy for those guys and and girls working there. flight when it pushes you back for some reason it feels relaxing <laughs> it does i always feel excited when we uh, start uh, when we uh, start our takeoff on the runway mm, animation maker boy players are so good they feel so relaxing especially with takeoff it feels so smooth yeah but uh, safety first, as always. Miss Patrolling competition is good, but not good if it's at expense of safety. You are correct. Yeah, I, I'm there with you. Uh, then I'd rather just have Airbus around. They're at least safe and they know what they're doing and it's not cutting corners. Yeah, but eventually I think uh, Boeing will, uh, will fix it. I'm pretty sure of that now. Also FAA are on them uh, and they will not certify any aircraft if they have been double checked triple checked and quadruple checked right now i can say so give it a couple of years and i think that the boeing will be the safest aircrafts out there because uh, now they are right now at the rock bottom and when you're at the rock bottom the only way is up so let's hope for that
a flight without Boeing and Airbus Aviation would not have a, a rivalry. No, you are correct. We need to have that. We need to have co healthy competition. Uh, animation maker, what is the most underrated plane company other than Boeing and Airbus? That's a good question. That's a good question. I don't have an answer for that. Uh, Talking Ben, don't know what tutorial to follow about NVIDIA GPU update. Okay. best thing you can do uh, talking about I don't know if you have a friend or somebody you know uh, the way around computers and PCs to help you out with this it's really really hard to explain just here on chatting or writing to you uh, because if you have never done it I understand if you are not familiar with with uh, PC computers uh, then it might be a little bit intimidating and you don't know what to do so the best advice I would give you is find somebody who knows this stuff and ask them to help you out in real life maybe a friend and maybe a school teacher or something maybe dad's friend your dad somebody who knows this who could show you Simon, hello Simon, welcome man, welcome to the stream my friend. Uh, hey Broker, do I need a flight from Luxembourg to transfer to 7? Let me see. Do you know a flight from Luxembourg to Johannesburg, 747 coverage? You want me to fly that flight? Is that what you're asking Simon? Uh, Dr. Also, Brock, can you do a quick show around Navigraph, please? I cannot do it right now when I stream, man. I'm uh, chanting, flying, streaming at some time. I... We're gonna find someday. I'm gonna, we're gonna do some stream together, and I maybe closed one, and I will help you out, man. Group uh, seven. I said it. The Boeing are not run by engineers; they're run by greedy businessmen. But sadly, yep, you're correct. Miss Patron, you think they will get a good reputation back? Yes, I think so. Someday. Mm, I can't wait for the triple seven. Me neither. Should be maybe a month, maybe a month or so. Mm, a flight, yeah, the triple seven X. No, I think the Pratchers is talking about the new aircraft will come in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is the triple seven by BMDG. Rutgers saying Embraer about underrated, maybe. Miss Patrol, either way, I still like Airbus airplane design the best at the moment. It looks just more modern and better. I I would like to disagree there. I, I love the look of Boeing's more than I like the Airbus. I like how Airbus flies and behaves. Uh, that's that's more to my liking. But if you just uh, cosmetical how it how it looks, I would go for for Boeing. Uh, talk me, is it only me that are not going to buy the 777? <laughs> I think there are lots and lots of people who are not going to buy it. I think it's going to be really expensive. So, uh, Flight, it's torture waiting for it. You mean the 777X? Uh, I almost think that it will never see the light in that aircraft. Uh, document there are so many different tutorials yes uh, as i said the best thing you can do uh, just don't mess up everything find somebody who knows these things <laughs> from seven a wild clip for landing if for landing appears <laughs> Venus is start always lurking. <laughs> uh, flight, wait, how much time until landing? Let me just jump in the cockpit. Hey, the clouds are getting heavier and heavier, it seems. 
Uh, okay, our expected arrival is uh, 0021 UTC time, and right now it is 2306, so maybe one hour and 15 minutes. And we still have uh, uh, 500 nautical miles to travel, so I'm not I'm not sure about that one hour and 15 minutes. Maybe one hour, 30, 45 minutes, if I would guess. Wow, look at those clouds. Uh, Miss Patrullian, stream this weekend or you are taking a small vacation because it's Easter? No, I'm gonna stream this weekend. I'm uh, gonna stream on Saturday this weekend, Saturday evening. Uh, gonna switch back because we have some little celebration on Sunday, family to uh, get together because, of, as you say, it's Easter, uh, it's Easter holidays here in Sweden. So nothing special, just some get together, some food and friends, family. Uh, talk man, maybe Boeing gonna be like McDonnell Douglas. Do you know what? Uh, McDonnell Douglas and Boeing uh, uh, company merged together back in the days, and that's when the problem started because uh, the CEO who, who was at the McDonnell Douglas uh, became CEO of Boeing, and that's when they started to, yeah. The downfall of Boeing started. Animation uh, maker Bronco, how much feet per minute do you consider hard landing? Well, I would consider everything about uh, 300, close to uh, over 300 feet per minute uh, is uh, hard landing. I tried to read about that from different forums. What's uh, What's considered uh, well, butter landing, everything under 150 feet per minute is considered like a butter landing. Really smooth, you can barely feel it. Uh, above between 150 up to 300, it's considered like a firm landing. Not a hard landing, but a firm landing. Above 300 is a hard landing. Is the DC9, MD80, and Boeing 787 almost the same? Could it be because the merger or maybe some development uh, switch or uh, sharing between the companies? I don't know, man. From some, I would say 420 feet per minute. Yeah, that's that's a hard landing. <laughs> yeah. Clear for landing. Also, the G for is important. The landing 1.10 G takes you to sign papers. Well, that is even more important. So, yeah. Uh, flight. I'm gonna watch on Sunday too. Well, I'm just was telling. Uh, now, this weekend because of Easter holiday here in Sweden, I'm gonna switch the stream. I'm gonna stream on Saturday evening. So it's not gonna be any stream on Sunday, but we're gonna do it on Saturday evening. <laughs> From Sir, on Easter, I suggest we fly to Easter Island. But where is that, man? <laughs> Miss Proton Boeing don't know the phrase, don't fix shit that's not broken. <laughs> I knew their new phrase is fix that shit, everything is broken. <laughs> I think. Talking about Bo Boeing brick back 747, we're gonna forgive them. <laughs> yeah, a modern 747. Uh, flight, what's about the landing for Ryanair and what? Who knows? But I think it's become like a, like a meme now about Ryanair. I don't think they deserve that much of uh, 
they are not that bad. Into one that skids clipper landing. <laughs> Uh, flight, okay, I'll see you on, uh, see it on Saturday evening. Nice, nice. Always welcome, man. Uh, Miss Patrol, you have to ask yourself, like, for how many years has Boeing made bad aircraft that are unsafe to fly? And how many have they made? All of them need to be grounded. <laughs> I mean, it's just with the latest uh, 737 that the real problem started. 737 MAX. There is a great documentary about there should be a couple of them. If you search for them on YouTube, you will see actually what, uh, why that happened and why they cut corners. It was actually Airbus that made them do that when they released Airbus AG20neo, which was so fuel efficient. So they uh, they just almost took over the market. So that they got afraid at Boeing and tried to speed up the development of the new 737 MAX by cutting corners. Animation can make why did Boeing retire and stop making the 747? That I don't know. Uh, Clipper landing the problem with Boeing is not really the aircraft. 737 is a very good plane. Problem is maintenance done quick for money. Okay. Okay, my friends, I'll be back in a, in a second. Need to go to the toilet. Be right with you. Okay, back with you. Uh, Clifford, by the way, if anyone has by any chance an INI 320 Simbri profile? Nope. Did yesterday by the eye and managed to not take off and took the first three. <laughs> okay, okay. Flight, will you do, ever do a face reveal? I said the day I reach 10,000 subscribers, I'm going live with the cam. How about that?
MGY, I don't know why, but I find the 737-200 cockpit so funny, okay? Uh, kimchi, most Ryanair pilots are new and Ryanair frequently lands in the smaller, more regional airports requiring different techniques for landing for short bill operations. Well, yeah, that's... that's the explanation. Uh, Miss Patrol and I wonder what other players of this game do to entertain themselves for hours when you fly for your hour, hours just in straight line. I'd imagine it become boring. Well, you know, I enjoy flying. That's the main reason why I started. Uh, first, I did uh, some only just uh, full flight videos. Uh, and after that, also, it became a little bit boring. Uh, you're sitting alone, not talking to anybody. You're just, yeah, sitting there for two, three hours, uh, just staring at the screen. So uh, that's the main reason I started streaming. I needed someone to talk to. And here I am today. So, as I said, it's you guys who are keep, do, keeping me to do this. Now, if nobody would join my stream, no one would chat with me, I don't know if I would continue doing this. So, yeah, I wonder myself what the other guys are doing. Animation Mac, wasn't broken talking anymore, is it? I said just before I went to the bathroom. A little uh, quick toilet break. Miss, but yes, face reveal. <laughs> face reveal. Yeah, as I said, yeah, if we reach 10,000 subscribers one day, so I will go live on camera. I will go. So you can see my beautiful, beautiful face. Maybe you are subscribed when you see me. <laughs> All that old ugly geezer. Uh, kimchi, do not allow the airplane to float. To fly the airplane onto the runway, do not extend the flare by increasing pitch attitude in an attempt to achieve a perfectly smooth that touchdown. Is it like a Ryanair operation manual? <laughs> or what? <laughs> Uh, Bly, it's fun watching this because it's realistic. There's a lot of people here. Yeah. Glad you're enjoying your stay, man. Uh, Miss Patrulli, maybe they have like second screen and he's watching or listening to something in the background. Could be. Also, I think most of them, uh, they are flying mostly or... I know many people are flying there on the Batsy where is uh, always lots of ATC and when you're flying ATC you need to focus more on flying always be prepared to talk to ATC I know I was have been talking about this for a long time I really need and um, like a co-pilot because uh, the workload at the takeoffs and also at the landings are uh, is huge. I mean, you have to manage the aircraft, you have to manage the radios, you have to uh, flip all switches, uh, switch frequencies, setting flaps, uh, prepare everything on everything whilst the ATC talks to you and also you need to land. So it's quite heavy. So you really understand why, why there are two pilots in aircrafts. I need to stay around to see the landing. You will do. If it's a butter, I will join. What will you join? You mean the Discord or what? Miss Patrullian, at the current rate, according to Social Blade, you will hit 10,000 in late November 2025. Man, that I feel like an eternity. Well, it takes time. I mean, because you guys enjoy what I do, enjoy being here. Not everybody does. I mean, people jump in and out, uh, and yeah, you can't please everybody. And I'm just happy that you are here, guys. I'm happy when I'm today with so many subscribers. I mean, we are pushing, we are almost uh, 1800 subscribers, and for me, that's uh, very much. But I'm still a small YouTube YouTuber if you compare to those really big. Uh, Light streamers. 
so if it happens it happens man uh, kimchi it's boeing technical manual okay really didn't that uh flight uh, uh, have you guys noticed the clouds becoming thicker can you check the radar well i don't have the radar the weather radar doesn't work because the microsoft flight simmer just don't uh, they won't release uh, their uh, uh, radar uh, weather api so nobody have a weather radar on we, can, we only have terrain radar and as you can see it's all now and it's only ocean beneath us right now Pedro, Airbus is from the 80s. It is their obligation to have made the H20 more technological than the 737. Not that it is. Well, it's more... Uh, uh, Airbus is like more like a PC computer. Everything is done by calculations. Why uh, was the, the Boeing is more like it's a more um, mechanical aircraft. Uh, more hydraulics and stuff. So uh, that's the difference between those two. Uh, Kimchi, as I said, more runner frequently lands in smaller, more regional airports requiring different techniques and for landing for short field operations. The majority of braking power is in the wheel. Okay. Kimchi on the ground and more importantly, get as much weight on the wheels as quickly as possible for safety to allow for margins and failures. Credit for someone on Reddit. Okay. There you go. So they are not worse than any other pilots. They need those special techniques just to land quickly. Uh, Flight, can we see the free cam view? You mean the outside view? <laughs> Animation maker delivery is really cool. Yeah, I like it too. Wow, look at those clouds. It's metallic, just like the American Airlines retro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pedro, I prefer Boeing exactly for this reason. I prefer older and more mechanical aircraft. As I said, we all have our preference. There will be there will be thunderstorm and turbulence on landing. Looking at these clouds, hopefully no thunderstorm, but uh, uh, they look intimidating. Maybe it's just a cloud layer uh, at this. Uh, maybe we when we get beneath, it's quite 
Nice. We will see. Uh, from some, I think this month we've been flying a little bit of everywhere over the world. Uh, indeed, we have. Now, uh, now <laughs> we just got stuck for some reason a couple of months ago, only flying mainly in Europe, and uh, it's been very refreshing doing these flights with being both in Asia and South America, North America. Now we are in uh, Australia, New Zealand, and yeah, it's quite nice. Oh, Major Brad Bronco should do a flight in the speed point. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, flight on Saturday. Can you do the ATR 72? Unfortunately, not. Can I don't know how to fly that aircraft. Sorry. <laughs> People, we are old. Ain't that enough? Uh, Bronco should fly the B-17, reenact Masters of the Air. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, just after w watching that show, I actually looked for B-17 Microsoft Flight Simulator. Did oh, sorry, didn't find one. Uh, flight, uh, what about 737? Uh, we're gonna do some flight to 737 sooner or later. For sure. I don't know if just this Saturday. It depends. We will see where we fly. I haven't decided yet. It all, I would like to have some bots in ATC. So we have like ATC interactions on Saturday. So it's depending on which route we take and which uh, airlines flies that route. Uh, usually I want to do like real ops. Like this flight is actually flown by Jesta from Sydney to New Zealand. So I always want to be realistic as possible. Uh, flight, uh, what aircraft do you know how to fly? Well, I know uh, A320-200, I can know A320-NEO, A330, I know Boeing 737, Boeing 787, and yeah, that's basically it. I, I know the small, I know how to fly an uh, uh, King Air, a Beechcraft King Air 350, I also know how to fly uh, TBM 930, small G aircrafts. Uh, animation, hey bro, can you fly bigger airplanes? Uh, I'm gonna do that, I'm switching around, so sooner or later I'm gonna fly bigger airplanes. Just a couple of, uh, I think it was last week, uh, we flew with the 787 from Mexico City to Los Angeles. And not that long ago we flew with A330-900 from um, uh, Tokyo, Japan to Seoul uh, in South Korea, so... Uh, Simon Herbrock, I'm flying from Luxembourg to Jansu with 747 Cognos. Also live on Volanta, flying now by Palermo. Okay, nice. Flight actually, can you do A330 Butter Free Cam on Saturday? What is Butter Free Cam? Okay, let me just pull out. I need to prepare, start preparing for approach. So, let me show you here. This is my. Uh, my charts from Navigraph. So we're gonna approach. Uh, uh, we're gonna do a runway t two three RMP Zulu approach. Let's pin that one. And as you can see, our initial star. We're gonna fly where we are now. We are right over there. So from Atcos, we're gonna join. Go over to Ubdam turn a right now here we're gonna go fly over the mountains down to Cospa Ukbed when we go come to Ukbed we're gonna join this route and this was what I was talking about uh, there are mountains all over here so we're gonna do this uh, little uh, route here fly over here and down here there is I don't know if it's a lake or a river we're gonna go above it small small river running through but there is a space here between mountains which you need to navigate through over here down to runway two three 
which is, which is a short runway and the airport is right here. So it's quite, quite a stunning approach. Uh, Paul Major, how about the Learjet Bronco? Nope, no can do. <laughs> Animation maker, I can barely control the 737 in GEOS while you can fly a huge plane in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It took me a while to learn. I'm still not an expert, I, I have to say. I'm not a good pilot, I'm a decent pilot, you could say. Uh, Valle, hello Valle. Uh, welcome to the stream. Where are you from? Feel like I recognize the dialect. Can it be I'm from Sweden? Valle, it sounds also a little bit Swedish. Where are you from, Valle? Uh, flight, like looking at the gear while landing. Well, ah, uh, that's not possible. I'm not gonna be able to land. Uh, Pedro, and Dubai, Lisbon with 787. Ooh, don't talk about that flight. We did, um, it was an event on Watsim. We flew from, uh, no, it was not from, it was from Abu Dhabi to Lisbon with 787, Etihad Airways. When we were close to landing in Lisbon, after 10 hours of flying, my simulator crashed. We couldn't do the landing. Yeah. That was heartbreaking. Uh, from somewhere. I see some nice terrain and mountains on the chart. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cliff landing, you kidding me? I and I built HD20 doesn't have a cap. It doesn't. Animation maker, I want to see how you handle mountains and turbulence. Well, you will see soon enough. Okay, let's uh, do another check with our flight plan. Uh, there is the waypoint of Atcos. We're going to turn left. And there is the Updam approach. Going down to Gospa and uh, yeah, we're gonna slow down to 210 knots, going this little circle around. Okay, the plan looks correct. Uh, flight, will we start the send now? No, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Let me see, you see the little... Uh, that little arrow, white arrow over there. Uh, that is our top of descent. That is where we're gonna start our descent. So we still have 160 miles to travel. So
uh, Paul Major, I have sat in the Spitfire. They are very big to what you have with the Brave Boys back then. Oh man, have you watched the show we were talking about, Masters of the Air, Paul? Uh, it's about the World War II. Uh, about those guys the flying B-17s, also, also the Spitfires. There was a couple of episodes about that as well. Crazy guys. <laughs> Paul Major Bronco went and had a few beers and then... <laughs> A lie down in the dark room after that long fly after it's crashed. Yeah, man, I just sat in my couch and like uh, I was really angry for like 20 minutes or so. Uh, flight 160 miles, quite a lot. Ah, not in an aircraft. We're gonna start our descent soon, mate. mate. flight the clouds are going away a little bit yes yes uh, they are clearing out so hopefully we have a beautiful approach Wait, Bronco crashed before? No, I didn't crash. The simulator just uh, crashed for me. Black screen, crash to desktop, call it wherever you want. Uh, it with the game just uh, shut down. It was a uh, bug in the aircraft. We had to do a late minute change, a runway change from the ATC. And uh, afterwards, uh, when I did that, when I did that in the now it's in the FMC of Boeing Aircraft 787. Uh, there was a bug which I didn't know about that if you go from your last waypoint and try to change, if you have passed your last waypoint and change the runway, uh, this thing could happen that you experience crash to desktop. So that's what happened. It's <laughs> come close many times. <laughs> yeah. A tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who the hell put the tree at the end of the runway? <laughs> yeah. But Cap, uh, it was at uh, Cap Verde Island. We did a uh, G aircraft, some very small airstrip we're gonna we took off from now i also forgot to 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 set flaps before takeoff so when we started our uh, run on the runway and started like started to pull up it di didn't want to pull up and i was so close to hitting a tree at the end of the runway that was close one yeah Also on that, also that small airport somewhere in South America we landed. Uh, there was uh, like, uh, there was no paver scenery. That was just basic Microsoft Flight Simulator airport, uh, and uh, we taxied through a very narrow taxiway where there was uh, very close to the trees on both sides. And simulator detected that I hit the trees with the wing, and it was like, you have crashed. I got the message, you have crashed. <laughs> <laughs> from seven yes that was a funny moment yeah i still remember that as well you remember it like it was yesterday yeah <laughs> yeah me too man <laughs> uh animation maker broke me it's too nice to only have 80 likes and views. <laughs> oh thank you man thank you very much <laughs> spread the word spread the word paul major you missed that tree by inches yeah i did that i did that <laughs> I also skied over runway once. 
Do you remember that? Uh, it was in Yerevan. Uh, now, I rem if I remember correctly, there were some issues with my uh, rudders. So when I landed, it was like crosswind landing and I just pulled the rudder a little bit too much and I just went straight out over the grass. <laughs> was cutting the grass on that airport. <laughs> Okay, let's zoom in the map. We are close, guys. We are close to New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Well, you know, that's what it's all about. Those funny moments. Having a laugh. You ended up on the taxiway, yeah. <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> Rock aviation, the tree. Trimming aviator. <laughs> You, yeah, cliff landing, but who landed in a damn sandstorm and waited you on the grass? Yeah, wait, that was in uh, what is that uh, airport in um, Moldova? Chisinau, Chisinau, Jesus, I remember all of those things. Yeah, I remember that that weather. You you flew through a real was it not? It wasn't the sass, it was a snowstorm, man. I remember when we approached and looked at that uh, weather formation in front of us and like, wow, man, happily we don't fly through that. And like, and you're like, oh yeah, I landed in that one. <laughs> uh, flight, we almost to New Zealand. Very, very correct, man. <laughs> Never a dull moment when Rocco flies. But the best landing, I mean, I think one of the best, it was the Rio de Janeiro in complete darkness, the Santos Dumont air, uh, airport, with not seeing the airport until the very few moments before we touched down. That was a good landing. Not according to the uh, FAA, it would be prohibited to do it like that, but we landed. Cliff landing, we get there eventually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Poor man. Passengers had to sign a disclaimer when they got on board, they may die. <laughs> well, be happy it's just a simulator. Don't ever let me fly a real aircraft. Also, there was a, one, a hairy one. You remember when we flew, we flew from Malmö? We were supposed to land in Tuzla, in Bosnia. And uh, it was so, uh, so foggy, so we couldn't land there. So we had to divert to Belgrade. We diverted to Belgrade, uh, attempted first landing. We couldn't do that. We did to go around. And on the next one was our last attempt because we were like on fumes landing there. We, uh, I mean, we had fuel when we landed like under uh, one ton of fuel wasn't even that that even one engine shut off or something like that I remember I couldn't see anything the fog was thick as soup yeah indeed it was very thick and then it was we didn't have any ILS it was completely manual approach for that airport so we couldn't land there uh, kimchi just landed at uh, VHHH Hong Kong wow nice you have a great landing kimchi uh, 
Uh, keep in mind, no, no, when you drank one fuel tank, was another flight. Ah, wasn't it uh, maybe one of my first uh, Boeing 737 flights? Uh, flight, uh, I think we should start the send. We are getting kind of close. <laughs> are you getting word, man? Don't worry, we're gonna start uh, here at uh, Adco's. It's very precisely calculated for top of descent, so... Uh, we're gonna be fine, man. Actually, I still don't know how you did it. Uh, I think I forgot to put on uh, the the center tank uh, uh, fuel pump. I didn't start the center tank fuel pump on the 737, and for some reason it just uh, emptied the one of the wing tanks instead. And it, the whole 737 bugged out. I couldn't start up the center tank fuel tanks. And I don't know even how we managed to do it, but I, I, I just, I think I turned off the, one of the wing tanks and just let it uh, take fuel from one of the wing and try to make it so it's like a level with the fuel. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, kimchi uh, yeah I flew with the Boeing 747 at China and end up with minus 157 feet per minute beautiful landing man animation make how much longer uh, well the MCDU asked us to enter destination data so we are getting close to our descent and we should land in approximately I would say four to five minutes to one hour. Actually, <laughs> animation maker Rocco was the riskiest learning from all of them are risky. <laughs> yeah, I think the most riskiest was. Uh, that landing in uh, Rio de Janeiro. Complete darkness trying to find uh, <laughs> the runway. Uh, you should look it up. I still have it on my channel. It's, uh, I think, flight is from Curitiba to Rio de Janeiro, Santos Dumont. Uh, yeah, the flight is still up there. You can see the stream. You can check the landing in there. Kimchi, what the hell? My screen just shows red lines all over my screen. Oh. Uh, doesn't sound good, man. Hope it's not a uh, GPU issue for you, man. Cliff landing, I remember that Rio landing. I said that's the runway. It was a damn line of pipes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the bridge. I think there was the, the Rio de Janeiro bridge we saw there or something. I don't know. It was quite a while ago, but I remember it was crazy as hell, that landing. Paul Major, this is why we love you, Bronco. It's a flight sim and you have kept us entertained for a long time. You're a legend, my friend. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. I very much appreciate your kind words. Yeah. So happy to hear that, man. Thank you so much. Happy that I can do this for you guys. Okay, guys, let me check up. Uh, the we need to enter the destination data.
Okay, we don't have any meter station available for uh, for the Queenstown. Let's see if we can see it here. Uh, arrival. There we go. It's overcast at uh, 4,000 feet. QNH 0, 0, 0908. Okay, what is the temperature? 214 knots. Okay, let's set destination data. QNH is a 0998. Is the temperature? Do we have any temperature here? Let's see if we can find here meter. Nope, there isn't any. Okay, temperature is five degrees, and the wind is uh, two zero zero at fourteen knots. And there we go. And now the transition altitude is, uh, let me check. That is correct. And the barrel decision altitude is 2,709 feet. Okay, let's set, uh, let's see, flight level uh, at mag, but we want to be at 11,000 feet, so we're going to set 11,000 feet, and we are soon about to start our descent. Uh, cookie was for me to use Google. Well, I found it. No, no worries, man. Here we go. Uh, in the real, real life, the airport is not in use right now, as there are not that much arrivals and departures each day. Okay. Here we go. Let's start our descent.
Uh, Pedro, uh, it's not that easy. I have landed uh, thousands of times, and when I went to land, it rained almost, almost zero visibility in zero to right. I almost fell. Oh, um, yeah, it's a crazy approach. Kimchi, welcome to the first class member. Thank you very much, Kimchi, for your contribution. Thank you. Hope you really enjoy your stay. Being a member, everybody say hello to Kimchi, our newest first class member. <laughs> Animation. <laughs> I'm back from taking it up. Okay, thank you for your information. It was uh, vital for us. Uh, flight how to become a member well yeah there is a button to become a member it's uh, it's like subscriptions which, where you support me with a small fee every month it's completely optional as I said look at that Look at that. Approaching the mountains, guys. Light. Uh, wow, the mountains are so cool. Thank you, thank you. So beautiful tech animation and lovely views for even at 28,000 feet. Yes, indeed. Now, if I don't respond, guys, now it's the time when uh, things get heavy in the cockpit. So, sorry for that chat. Let's say thank you to the music and let's start focusing on our approach. Uh, we can switch off the map. And let's uh, put the sit by sign on. <laughs> flight I'm still in economy <laughs> you are very much welcome as anybody else man a cookie boss my flight request Bronco if you don't bother you owe me a third beer I will be soon owing you a case of beer my friend <laughs> Will now be seated for landing. Thank you. Oh, we have a turbulence. Now, okay, for landing, Jesus Christ, why is the e I and I atrium so damn heavy? I barely took off again. Okay. <laughs> Just joking flight. Okay, man. Okay. It just feels that you're flying so close to these mountains. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the animation. <laughs> well, at least the column is in the back, so if Rock hits a tree, <laughs> we will be safe. <laughs> Now I'm gonna need to dive bomb this thing, uh, we need to touch down very early on the runway, as I said, short runway, really short runway. <laughs> Animation, it's been too far since I joined the stream, so cool, so happy you are uh, enjoying it. Transport legend, beautiful, yeah. So beautiful, indeed. Yeah, let's slow down a bit, going down to 250 knots. Uh, animation maker, are there any other planes in the area? No, uh, no other planes. Uh, there is actually one other aircraft behind us, which will also land, is A330, will we land after us? Uh, Cookie Boss, uh, also Brock, I would recommend turning off the terrain GPVS in overhead panel. Okay, where is that one? Uh, where is that one? Winston Traffic, Air New Zealand 635 uh, on the Urza 4 Bravo arrival, expecting RNAV dual approach runway 23, uh, Queensland Traffic, Queenstown.
and this is some crazy approach so beautiful so beautiful guys look at that We start traffic just as 780 at the waypoint Ukbed for uh, runway 23 Arnav Zulu approach. Uh, Sensor, do you have via Ukbed set up on the RMP? Yes. Hello, Sensor. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we'll go uh, with just a 780. <laughs> Sensor, hello, I see you on Volanta. <laughs> nice. Welcome to the stream, Sensor. Welcome to the channel. I haven't seen you here before. Is it your first time, man? And yeah. Yes, that was uh, the ceiling. We are be beneath the clouds now, so I think we have a clear weather on approach, which is really nice. <laughs> the last big screen put up or that? No, it was uh, a little bit over uh, over speed. Okay, let's go gear down. How to break medium for this one? Laps three. Labs full. Okay. 
Cabin crew, ready for landing. Okay, let's get in the snooze for landing. Without that, we cannot land. Uh, Pedro, nice approach, thank you very much. Spoilers are armed. And we have runway in sight. Queensland traffic, Air New Zealand 635, just past Bed 40 RMP to approach runway. Crystal traffic uh, just at 780 at uh, 3 miles final, uh, runway 23. Crystal traffic. Minimum. Crystal traffic, 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 Crystal Okay, here we go, autopilot off. We're gonna go manual on this one. bit low oh we have a crosswind of 20 knots Slam that down. I was very afraid, guys, just to 
I don't want to float here. Let's go e exit the runway here. Seven hundred six. Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Jesus. Um. We start traffic. Uh, just a seven eight zero uh, runway vacated. Uh, window final it was. Uh, Two three zero at twenty knots. So a little bit of crosswind from the left. Roger, thank you. Okay, Jesus, that was scary landing. <laughs> okay, ah, uh, that was brutal. Yeah, that was brutal. Did we broke anything? Oh, it's still <laughs> it's still alive. Okay, let's go for a, a gate three. Give me a second, guys. In bar three, the forward and the rear left hand doors. Please follow the directions of our team and for your safety, remember to be steady on the stairs and hold on to the handrail. Before you head off, check that you have everything with you and be careful opening the overhead locker just in case any luggage has moved during the flight. For customers connecting onto another Jetstar or Qantas service, our team in the terminal will be happy to assist you. If your phone is within arm's reach, you can now switch it on. Just remember that you are. Ah, uh, that was a uh, worse landing quite a while, guys. Devices need to stay switched off until you're inside the terminal. Smoking is not allowed inside the terminal or on the tarmac. For whether you're flying again today, tomorrow, or in the future, we look forward to seeing you again. Thank I will wait you in the second channel. Uh, just let me park the aircraft. I even forgot to switch off the lights. Okay, let's park the aircraft. And start up, I forgot. Ooh! Crash just traffic, Air New Zealand 635 on final runway 23. Cra uh, correction, <laughs> and that was for <laughs> Queen Town. Uh, yeah, that was a little bit loud. Yes, uh, someone asked about uh, the. What was that? The, the announcement. Yes, it's downloaded from uh, Discord server. There are uh, custom. Uh, announcements for every almost every airline there is so you should find them out uh cookie boy should done a go around yes i should have done a done a go around but it's a little bit late that's why i need to go to bed get to early, bed early so i needed to land this right now uh that was a very definitely a stable one yep it was but we landed it's simulator it's uh not real life so we take that uh and measure it was shaky. I think it was the turbulence that was messing up. No, it's not the turbulence. We had a crosswind. We was quite strong crosswind from the left, so it uh, it was uh, yeah, it was quite tough landing. And uh, uh, from server that jump scared me. Yeah, uh, it was a little bit loud, man. Uh, hey, Bronco, will the Paro event take place? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, we we have to find a date for Paro doing a flight there. I mean, if you think this was a tough landing, wait until see you Paro Bhutan for that one. Uh, that's a really, really crazy landing there. Uh, let's switch off everything. Passenger seat, but sign goes off. I have logo lights. Uh, now, why is this always? There we go. That's off. Now, just wait for the APU to start up. Do I have anything on? Yeah, taxi lights are still on. Okay, that's off. Uh, Transport legend, uh, beautiful flight, my friend. Thank you for taking that this for us. No worries, always enjoying doing this. <laughs> this is the most intense, intense accent. Yes, it was. Okay, Traffic. guys. Traffic. Okay, let me just switch off that one. Now there's another one landing. Air New Zealand. Oh, 
car is going to get take a long one. Now that wasn't a 330. Okay, is APU up and running? Yes, start APU blade, and we are gonna go with uh, switch off the engines. Let's go with engine number one, engine number two, and deboard the passengers. Uh, Adrian, where do you fly Saturday? I don't know yet. I don't know. Uh, we will see, man. Uh, uh, sorry, you. Since I really like delivery. Nice. Yes, it's a really beautiful flight. Nice uh, flight. The chat was so entertaining. Thank you, Bronco. See you Friday. Saturday, man. Not Friday. Wait, Saturday. Animation Maker by Bronco, see you Saturday. Thank you very much, Animation Maker. Thank you to Flight. Thank you to Sensa. Thank you, Cookie Maker, Transport Legend, Adrian, Paul Major. Uh, yeah, Cliff Landing, Room 7, Pedro, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me on this stream, guys. There we go. We are going to start the boarding. Uh, next flight, as I said, will be on. Uh, we're gonna do that on Saturday. Don't know which flight yes, but anyway, big big thank you for joining me. Sorry for that rough landing, guys. Uh, yeah, I should have done a go around, but I don't have time. It's getting quite late here. Anyway, love you all. Thank you for for, for your contributions. Thank you for subscribing. Also, guys, if you haven't subscribed, want to see more flights, just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button as well. Bye bye my friends, see you on uh, Saturday next time. Have a lovely night, have a good night's sleep and have a great rest of your week my friends. Uh, adios, arrivederci and uh, goodbye.